Hello once again my friends, it is your buddy the Nerdy Husky and today on Geeky Gluttony we're going to be recreating or I guess creating the Chateau Romani from Majora's Mask. Did I butcher the name? Tell me in the comments below. So a little bit of a lesson here for you. If you're not familiar with what Chateau Romani is, well Chateau is a French word. It is by definition a large French country house or castle often given its name to the wine that's made within its neighborhood. So Chateau Romani milk from Romani Ranch. Got it? All right. The Chateau Romani becomes available to Link in the milk bar in East Clock Town after 10 p.m. after completing various side quests for the Romani Ranch. The milk itself costs 200 rupees, and when consumed, it gives Link a seemingly unlimited energy source, or magic meter, indicated by this blue bar. It's also referred to in-game as a drink that's not meant for children, or minors, or however they word it, but most interpretations that I see online of that make the Chateau Romani an alcoholic beverage, which sure, that's one type of adult beverage, but I thought, what's another type of adult beverage that gives energy? So I immediately thought of a caffeinated milk tea. Makes sense, milk bar, you don't normally see kids drinking like le loose leaf tea. So that said, we're gonna go ahead and go over everything that we're gonna need for this recipe. But before we get into it, only a fraction of you who watch these videos are subscribed, so if you are new around here, please consider subscribing. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and see what we need to make Chateau Romani. So, to make our Chateau Romani, we're going to be using loose leaf black Thai tea, which we bought at our local Asian food market. Stop Asian hate. So, loose leaf black Thai tea. For our milk, we're going to be using, I have here, it's a can of the sweetened condensed milk. I also have a jar of half and half cream, which I have had a vanilla bean soaking in overnight just to see if this needs any help. Um, that said, I'm going to show you how to prep a vanilla bean. This bean costs like $17. Don't be afraid if you're going to remake this. Don't be ashamed on using artificial vanilla or pure vanilla extract. And then we have a simple syrup, which simple syrup is just sugar and water. This is to provide sweetness if the sweetened condensed milk still does not provide the hit of sweetness that we need. So, let's get started. <laughs> so, let's get started. Mitch is gonna be mad if he watches this video. So let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is into a small saucepan, we're gonna put four cups of water. Tyler, why does your water look cloudy like that? I just got it from the tap, it's very hot. So. Four cups of water in, and we're going to bring this to a boil. I don't trust how high up that is. Hold on a second. Four cups of water up to boil, and to that four cups of water, we are going to be adding one cup of our dried loose leaf Thai tea. This stuff is super sweet smelling. It's got some really nice earth, earthy, bleh, bleh. it's got some really nice earthy tones to it. Um, just the air when you open it up, it almost smells like a really high quality, um, almost like a Nesquik. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the craziest smelling thing ever. Um, and when we're done with it, it's going to give us kind of a nice orangey color, but I'll touch back on that in a little bit. So once that boils, we'll add this to it. Boil it for three minutes, let it steep for 30. While we're waiting on that to boil, in a second pot, we're going to put in our sweetened condensed milk. You can use heavy cream with some of the extra simple syrup. Um, I don't recommend using granulated sugar. Even when the granulated sugar dissolves, it can still have kind of a grainy aftertaste to it. So always recommend something liquid. Sweetened condensed milk is thick. This is thick. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead, I wasn't sure, when I did this test recipe yesterday, we only used the half and half, and then it was like, why don't we try sweetened condensed milk? I forgot how thick sweetened condensed milk is, so what you're seeing now is a little bit extra experimentation. So, like I said, this is half and half that I've had a vanilla bean pod soaking in overnight, so this should be extra vanilla-y. Oh, oh no. This doesn't pour very well. <laughs> so that should be good. We'll start with that. We're gonna mix that up and see how that works. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add this to the pot. Once we add the tea to this, it doesn't really matter how thick the sweetened condensed milk is because 
the tea is gonna thin it out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm putting this on the stove at a very, 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 very low temperature. Uh, we don't want this to curdle, we don't want it to solidify, but we do want it to warm up just a tiny, tiny bit. So low as it can go and excellent timing. It is time to stir in our tea. I'm gonna turn that way down, actually. All right, so with the tea in now, I have the water turned down so that it can boil. We want the tea to boil for about three minutes, and then we'll move it off of the burner once three minutes have elapsed. And we will let it steep. You see that orange color that's coming through? That's kind of what I was talking about. While we have that boiling, there is something I kind of want to address here. I know that this color is going to, ultimately when we mix these two to create our milk tea, it's going to be a lot more orange than maybe the video game art would say. Video game art's kind of like a pale, it still looks like a milk, right? Maybe a little, like a pale yellow. The thing that I love about video game interpretation is that no matter what it's cosplay, whether it's music, whether it's art, or even cooking, Video game interpretation can take so many different forms that don't necessarily need to be 100% accurate to the source material. So keep that in mind when we're going forward because this won't, it won't look exactly like the in-game liquid, but trust me, this is gonna be fire. So with that out of the way, we'll come back in a couple of minutes and we'll let this steep. All right, so killing the heat. And we're gonna go ahead and let this guy sit up here off the heat for thirty minutes. While we're waiting for that to steep, this is getting a little nice, little tiniest bit of heat. I want to add a little bit more of uh, the vanilla bean to this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys how to prep a vanilla bean. And I just learned this yesterday, thanks to Mitch. So. So first, that's not what was supposed to happen. <laughs> a natural vanilla bean. That vanilla bean extract flavor that you guys get comes from pods like these. These pods are stupid expensive. I'm not kidding when I say we bought two of these for $18, 18. So that's why I'm saying if you don't wanna spend the money on a vanilla bean pod, get some uh, vanilla extract, whether it's pure or artificial. Either way, it's gonna be really, really good. This is just gonna take our milk up to the next level. All right, so first things first, we're going to straighten the bean out. And now using a sharp paring knife, we're going to start by chopping off the ends. Get those out of here. And now what we wanna do is we wanna go up the side. So as you can see, the vanilla bean is pretty flat. So we're just gonna take our paring knife carefully and just take it up the side. You see all this black stuff on the side of the knife? That's all like the vanilla. That's all vanilla -y goodness. Seeds, pods, I don't know. But this is all, this is all the money stuff right here. We want to get as much of this into our milk product as possible. That's not dirt, I promise. All of that black stuff in there, that is all the vanilla. So we're going to take our spoon and just scrape down the bean and look at all that. It almost looks like caviar. And that's how you open up a vanilla bean pod. Very, very simple. Again, use a very sharp paring knife and please, for the love of God, be careful when using a small sharp knife. If you cut yourself, don't be coming to my comment section saying, hey, I followed your advice and now I've got a knife through my finger. No, I warned you. All right. Comically large whisk. Like really, is there any reason for me to be using a whisk this size? Any reason at all? Can you think of a good reason? No, exactly, I can't either. All right. So, get this out of here. I'll see you guys in about 25 minutes. You won't have to wait because the cut's coming up now where you'll actually pop back in and it'll be time to all right, so it's done steeping. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take this liquid, filter it into this pot, 
But first we need to add a little bit of ice into here. So let's start by getting some ice. So, so we'll take the ice. Actually, do you want to see a magic trick? Okay, watch, ready? We're gonna turn this into more ice, ready? Okay, so in the edit, when we're cutting this up, we need to make sure to time it just right so it looks like the ice appears on the table. So with our magical ice now, we're gonna go ahead and fill up this bad boy, making sure to just touch every other little piece of ice around where my hand is, just a little bit. This is a lawless house. We don't have any fucking rules here. We're going to now filter out our tea. Move this, this is done. I'm gonna use this little fine mesh sieve. It's kind of tiny, but trust me, it'll work just fine. That's nice and orange. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna bring this over into the light so it's a little easier to see. So what the ice is doing, essentially it's going to bring the hot tea down to a cooler room temperature. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to introduce our milk mixture, our lemon milk mixture here. Did I say lemon? Our vanilla milk mixture. So our vanilla, not lemon milk mixture is gonna go in. See what I mean when I said it's gonna be a little bit more of an orange. Interpretation. Interpretation. That's amazing. Interestingly enough, this is where the simple syrup comes in, which simple syrup, again, is just sugar and water mixed together. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Just a touch of simple syrup. And one last taste test. That's fire, that's so good. While it may not be as pale as some of the other Chateau Romani's that you see on YouTube or in any nerdy recipe book, this is my interpretation of the Chateau Romani, a caffeinated milk Thai tea with a really nice, sweet vanilla flavor to go with it. The nice thing about this drink is that you can customize it any way you want. You can add a little dash of cinnamon, you can add a little bit of nutmeg, bleh, nutmeg. <laughs> If you're feeling really frisky, you could probably even add a few star anise pods to it. What do you think? Yeah? Okay, yeah. Plinkies. Well, thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Geeky Gluttony for our Chateau Romani. Um, if you've never played Majora's Mask, it is my favorite game of all time. Please give it a try. If you are new around to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit like, share it with your friends. And if you have any suggestions on what I should try making in the future, go ahead and leave it in that comment section below. But until then, I hope you guys stay awesome. I'll see you guys over on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash nerdyhuskyttv. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do, and we will catch you in the next video. High five.